Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just want to show you a little trick with the Unity navigation system that might help you with a problem that you've run into. Certainly one that I've run into where the characters kind of move in an odd direction. So like, I don't want these guys spinning like this. So if you look right there, I'm going to show it one more time. If you watch this character, you'll see that when I just use the nav mesh agent and set the path, Set the, or set the destination. He does that kind of spin around and slide. And really what I want him to do is go forward. And I want him to just kind of you know, move along like an actual skater would. And I think there are other, a lot of other cases where you'd want to have the character move and have a tiny bit more control over it. So what I've got here is uh, just a class on here that controls the navigation system. And the default way to do it would be just to set the nav mesh agent's destination right here. So just call nav mesh agent dot set destination and pass in the point that we want to move to. So what I want to show you though is a way where we can use this, this nav mesh agent dot move and actually control it ourselves. So if you look here in the update method, before I wasn't doing any movement, these were commented out, so nothing was actually happening here other than some pointless calculation. That is just so you could see what it looked like the other way. Here, what I'm going to do is slowly turn the character towards the destination based off of how far away they are and how far behind them it is. You know, if it's right behind them, I want them to turn a lot faster and move slower. If it's further away and they can make the, the turn and you know, skate over there, they'll do a, a looser turn. So. I do that with this look toward method. Uh, the details of it don't really matter. And then the speed modifier is again, just they slow down as they get closer to things. If they need to make a tighter turn or they're about to stop at the at their point. What I want to point out though is this right here, this nav mesh agent dot move. This does is let you pass in a movement kind of like you would on a character controller, except in here, it won't go off the nav mesh agent or sorry, off the nav mesh. So if I play like this, let me make sure I save so it actually works. Now when I play, you should see the character just kind of move along. And just to be clear, I'm not sure using a nav mesh is ideal for this game. It's just something I kind of wanted to try out. So there we go, he shoots and then he kind of skates around and you can see he turns, he does an actual turn, he doesn't slide backwards and sideways. And then just to demonstrate this one more time in a little bit emptier fashion, let me show you this nice little empty uh, project. Let's see if I can get that lined up right. There we go. So here I've just got a nav mesh right here on this cube. If I go to there, you can see there's the nav mesh. This capsule is just an agent with a single script, this nav mesh mover script, which just calls move forward times time dot delta time. So it's just going to move the thing straight along and what you'll see is you know it'll move forward like a character controller would or moving the transform would but it won't go off the nav mesh so it lets you keep those constraints while still getting some extra control over the character so i just thought it was kind of a cool little feature and uh something that i didn't see anything written about other than a little note on the official documentation so i figured i'd share it and hopefully it helps you out somehow all right, if you like that, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.